Hello everybody, this is JC Productions, and welcome to... Let's call it, um, an opinion video. This is an opinion video that's laced with a little bit of fact, and I just want to explain why I don't believe the zombies community is as good as it was anymore. And this is, this might be a little bit unsavory to a few people, so I'm gonna just say what I feel, and you can be the judge of it. So, this is not the community as a whole that's bugging me. This is specifically at the big YouTubers, um, such as Smith Plays, Noah J456, Mr. Raffle Waffles, Lonely Mailbox, Mr. T Lexify, Two Pro For You Games, Chucky, Mr. Dalek JD, and this is only a few of the big zombie YouTubers I'm having a bit of a problem with. Um, there are some others, but um, these are the ones that I picked out because I know them. I've been watching them. I shouldn't say I know them. They're not going to recognize me by name. They're gonna, not going to say, hey, what's going on, Jacob? Or, hey, what's going on, JC? They're going to save that for uh, JC Backfire, um, who I didn't put his picture up here, but he is a bit involved in this problem. Basically, certain zombie YouTubers that I'm going to explain what kind of group they are in, and it's kind of easy to classify them once you know what... Um, what makes them part of this group. So, this started back in Derizendrak, and I didn't see it as that big of a problem in Derizendrak, but now with Zombie Chronicles out, it's become a way bigger problem. The reason I believe this is a problem, but people aren't talking about it, is it's good for the big YouTubers, it's good for Treyarch, it's good for the fans, it's good for the viewers. There's three, there's three people that benefit from this. Who's not benefiting? It's smaller channels, and I would classify myself as a small zombies channel. I try to do zombies content. I just, I love the games. They're great games. I love Treyarch. I love these guys. These guys are great. I watch their videos daily. The problem is, they're getting a free pass. The problem is, they're getting it fed to them. They're getting videos, ideas, just fed to them by Treyarch, and it's putting everyone else at a disadvantage. And this puts me at a bit more of a disadvantage, because I use PC, uh, I do PC stuff, so I already get it late, and I'm fine with that. If it was just like, Oh, people that have PS4, since PS4 gets it early, they have an advantage. That's fine. I'm talking about when Treyarch invites them to play the map early, they get to record videos, upload them early, or upload them on release. They get extra time to find what they want to post and what will do well. Tutorials, first gameplay reactions, these are all up seconds after the maps drop, or sometimes even before maps drop, now with DLC 5, Zombies Chronicles, they had stuff out before Zombies Chronicles was even a thing. Before the mass public could get it, they already had it. And they were gaining off of it. Sure, this is a good thing for them. This is a good thing for Treyarch. Treyarch, you're some nice guys. You're letting these, you're letting these YouTubers uh, play around. You're letting them get stuff down early. This is really nice. The viewer is like, oh, I get to watch exclusive stuff. This is really nice too. And the big zombies YouTubers say, this is great. I get videos. I get almost exclusive access because remember, there's quite a few of them getting this. It just leaves everyone else in the dust. It's a little bit sad and it makes me not excited for DLC 5 when it comes out on computer. I have, I'm losing interest in zombies. I'm losing interest in making videos with Call of Duty zombies because I look at these guys that get it early and get help from Treyarch and I say, what's the point? What's the point of doing it? The whole thing of zombies is you discover. And smaller channels could get big by discovering things before the bigger channels. Now that's not really a thing because the bigger channels 
get extra time. They start off earlier. Why should they get a head start? Just because they're big? Is it just because the Smith plays is big, he gets to go? Is it just because Mr. T Lexify is big, he gets to go? Rad Austin will get to talk to Jason Blundell. JC, here, let me look at this. I remember when JC Backfire was trying to get to 100,000, okay? Now he's at 200,000 because Treyarch helped him. It's great for him. It's, it's freaking brilliant. He doubled his goal that he's been working towards for so long. God, I remember when he, when I was watching his road to 100,000. And now he's at 200,000 because of a simple move by Treyarch. It just makes me wonder if I'm going to have a chance. Yes, I believe people are, they're good at what they do. These people know what they're doing. I'm not saying JC or T, Mr. T, Dalek, Noah J. There's a reason they're big before this, and that's that they are made good content. But now, it's no longer just they made good content, and they were good people. Now, it's also because they get exclusive access. They get access before everyone else. And that just, it takes away the fun. And now I'm sitting here, and I'm not sure if I want to get Zombies Chronicles, because I don't know if there's anything left to do. Like, at this point, with how much of a head start they're getting, I might as well just be doing Black Ops 1 maps, World at War maps, Black Ops 2 maps, because those have already been done, and if people want to watch them, they're there on my channel. I'm not big enough to be flown out to Treyarch's studio to get to play it early, to be able to find exclusive uh, content that no one else has been able to see but me and a select group of YouTubers. Sure, I give these guys credit. like. I do not say you're bad people for taking their offer. I would have done it. I would have flown down there with a group of YouTubers, gotten videos, gotten exclusive content, and posted it before DLC 5 dropped to PS4. It's a, it makes sense. I just have to voice that it's not fair. It's not fair when you allow people to get exclusive access. And it's not fair to the smaller people. Anyone not in that group, they're suffering. We're so happy that these guys are able to do it that we're willing to look past it. And I'm just not sure if that's okay. Just to recap, DLC5 is fine. Treyarch is fine. The YouTubers, they made the right decision. The problem is, I just wish it wasn't a decision that had to be made. I wish everyone had a fair chance and that people that found things on the maps, day one, day two, day 17, were able to get recognition they deserve. Because of this exclusive group, there are certain channels that would have found things when it released that we'll never get to now. That's no longer in their opportunity, all because Treyarch decided to fly out some big YouTubers and let them play. And I just, I can't say that's right. So this has been JC Productions, and I just want to know what your opinions on this are. Do you think I'm full of it, or do you think I have something to it? And if any of these big zombies YouTubers that got to go to Trek Studios, they got to play DLC 5 early, if you think I'm wrong, please tell me. I want to know. Thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been JC Productions, and I will see you in another video. Bye guys.